Hello everybody, this is Jeff Janess, and welcome to our third lab exercise in our lecture on selections, joints, and relates. In this one, we're going to be going through a lot of simple selection types of examples where we're selecting by, by both attributes and by location, and we're building several compound queries where we're trying to find features that meet multiple sets of criteria at the same time. Some of these are a little weird and tedious, but the whole point is to give you practice at trying these kind of selections because this is the normal way we do it with lots of different criteria. In these examples, we're going to be using a set of cities, states, and counties in the lower 48, as you see here in this map. I happen to have the counties symbolized according to the uh, state name. When you load the data up, it may not be symbolized by that, but so just don't don't worry too much about that. Also, I'm going to be checking the selection counts by using this list by selection option, so we'll see the counts right over here. We also have lots of questions we're going to go through here, and I'm going to do them all in a single video. So that means if you would like to get help on, say, question 20, and you don't want to sit through questions 1 through 19, well, I'm going to have the question number up in the upper right corner, so you can just fast forward through the video until you get to that number that you're interested in. So, yeah, don't don't feel you have have to sit through this whole thing. Now, when we're doing attribute queries, I'm going to be basing our queries off uh, these attribute fields in the cities feature class. So, I kind of want you to know what they are. When I ask you for the name of a city, that's in the name. Population 2007 is the population of that city in the year 2007. Age 18 to 21 tells you how many people were in that city that between this age range, and the same with these two age ranges. Uh, the median age, just a you know, simple statistical descriptor, the median age of all the residents in that city. We've got median age of males and median age of females. And there's several questions where I ask uh, how many cities have a median age of females that are greater than median age of males or where there are more individuals with certain median ages than others. Census counties, we're going to be dealing with the names of the counties and with the states, we're going to be dealing with the names of the states. All right, let's jump into it. First off, how many cities point features are there? Well, that's even before we do any selections, so we can get that by opening the attribute table. I hit Control T to open the attribute table. It's a nice, easy way. And I see that uh, there's 3,557. All right, that agrees. Uh, Want to do the same with counties? I could hit Control T, or I could come over here to the drawing order, right click, and say attribute table counties, there's 3,141. Sure enough. Okay, and for states, control T, there are 51 states. That's 50 plus the District of Columbia. All right, now let's start getting into actual selections. Well, uh, question four, how many cities point features have a 2,000 population that would, or excuse me, a 2,007 population that was greater than 150,000 people? Okay, that is an attribute of the cities in the attribute field that has the population 2007. We open up the select by attributes. Let's clear out this selection. Okay, we're, we're querying the cities, a new selection on the cities, where the population 2007 is greater than 150,000. We hit apply. We're going to switch this to list by selection. We see there's 158 cities like that. Okay. And by the way, uh, I'll often rather do my query in the SQL window. So I'm going to do some examples there as well as some examples here in the clause mode. But this is how you would structure that query in SQL. All right, on to question five. How many cities points features have greater than 20,000 people that are between the ages of 18 and 21? So how many people have over 20,000 people in that fairly young age range? Well, in this case, we're going to be using the attribute field uh, age 
18 to 21, you might notice in the SQL windows I start typing things, I start getting suggestions, and that's kind of a nice thing about this window. So I'm going to choose that. Uh, I could double click on it and it would appear. If, you, if you're interested, if you start typing it and you, you see the one you want, you can just hit enter and it'll pop it in there. All right, so that age group, we want more than 20,000 of them. All right, this is what it would look like in the clause mode, SQL mode. We're not inverting the clause. All right, hit apply. There are 68 cities that meet this criteria. Okay, next one. How many cities point features have a median age of females greater than the median age of males? All right. In SQL, that is median age female greater than median age male. In clause mode, it looks like this. You can stretch this out a little bit to see the full thing. Hit apply. 3,403, and that's what we got. Now, this is actually an interesting stat, I think. If you remember, there were only uh, 3,557 cities to start with, and yet 3,403 of them have uh, the, the, the female population tends to be a little bit older than the male. That's a huge proportion. I think that's just pointing to the general fact that females tend to live longer than males, and we're seeing that in the median age here. Okay, moving on. Question 7. How many cities point features have more people, or well, more 18 to 21 year olds, than they do 50 to 64 year olds? Let's clear the selection. It's a select by attributes. Let's do it in the clause mode this time. So we want 18 to 21 year olds. Where that count is greater than the count of 50 to 64 year olds. Might notice in this window here, I am comparing the value in one attribute field to the value in another attribute field. And that works just fine that way. SQL looks like this. That's that's all good. But what if I wanted to say the 18 to 20 year old, 21 year olds were greater than some number, and I wanted to get a little drop down list of those. That is down here. I'd have to switch this over to the values instead of fields. If I did values, then it'll show me some of the numbers that exist in that field. But we're doing fields, so we want the 50 to 64 year olds. Okay, hit apply. 198 cities have more 18 to 20 year old, 21 year olds than 50 to 64 year olds. Okay, next up. How many cities points features meet both of these criteria at the same time? First, there have to be more 18 to 21 year olds than 50 to 64 year olds, and the median age of females has to be greater than median age of males. Okay, we've got this part worked out, right? So we can build, and in, in, uh, for attribute queries, we can build more than one criteria into the same query. So all we have to do is add a clause and it is going to be and median age of females is greater than the median age. Oh, we need to change this to fields. Median age of males. So we've got two criteria going at the same time. In SQL, it just looks like this. We have a little and to, to bring them together. Hit apply. There's 139 cities like this. Let's confirm that. Yep, 139. All right, moving on. Question nine. How many cities points features meet both criteria? They have to have a median age greater than 50, and they have to have median age of females greater than the median age of males. All right, that would be Let's do it in SQL this time, then I'll switch back to clause to show you how it looks. It would be median age is greater than 50 and 
median age of females greater than median age of males. That's the SQL version. Here is the clause mode version. All right. Hit apply. There are 31 such cities, sure enough. Question 10. How many cities point features are in Arizona? Okay, so now we're getting into select by lo location stuff. Let's clear out our selections. All right, so first off, we have to select the state of Arizona, and then we do a select by location to find the cities that intersect that single selected state. So first, we have to select Arizona. Uh, let's start by doing it select by attributes. Hit that. We're going to be selecting from states. It's going to be a brand new selection on states where the state name is equal to Arizona. Uh, another thing, by the way, if, uh, if there's like thousands in this list and you, it's hard to scroll down to it, you can actually start typing it out and it'll it'll find the the uh, it'll jump down to the spot you need. All right, state name equals Arizona. So I want to select that state. I want my state here to become selected. Ha, huh, good, it worked. So now I have my state selected. Next step is the cities within that state. All right, so we do this is a select by location operation. I select the cities that intersect, intersect is good, states, and is telling me that there's one state selected, and that's kind of what I'm hoping. Uh, intersect, I want nothing entered here into the search distance, because a search distance will start looking outside the state as well. We just leave this blank. The selection type is a brand new selection on the cities. Now, when I run this query, I want just the, the cities within Arizona to turn blue. So I'm watching for that in my map. I hit apply. Looks good, just those cities. And I see that 48 cities are in Arizona. There we go, just what we thought. Okay, a similar question. How many cities are in Arizona, New Mexico, or California? Similar approach, but we have to select Arizona, New Mexico, and California first. So let's do it the select by attributes again on states. Let's clear what's there. I'm going to jump to SQL because I just like that better. Okay, state name equals Arizona. Or, remember, or is the appropriate one. State name equals New Mexico or state name equals California. That should make our three states get selected. Just check it out in clause mode. That's what it would look like. Hit apply. Good, my states are selected. So now I have to do a select by location to get the cities inside those three states. Let's close that, go to the select by location window cities, intersect, states. It's telling us we have three states selected. This is good. No search distance. We just want the state cities within the states. And a brand new selection on the cities. So all is well. We hit apply. We have 512 cities that are in those three states. OK. Next question, how many cities point features meet both criteria at the same time? They have to be in one of those three states and they have to have a median age greater than 50. Well, we've actually got the first part of it done here. We've got the cities that are within those three states and we know there's 512 of them. So why not just build off that and do a select by attributes to select a subset of the currently selected cities that have a median age greater than 50. That's what I'm going to do. So these are my candidates right now. Do a select by attributes, where median age based on cities. It's not a new selection. Remember, we're, we're using these, as, these selected cities as the candidates. We want a subset of those. So the type changes to select subset. 
select subset. Let's add a clause where the median age is greater than 50. Okay, hit apply, and we see that 10 cities meet that criteria. There's 10 cities in Arizona, New Mexico, or California that have a median age greater than 50. All right. Next question, how many cities meet three different sets of criteria? They had to be in those three states again. Median age 50, and we've actually got this part handled so far, right? That was the answer to question 12. These 10 selected cities are parts A and B of this question. So we just need to select a subset of our currently selected set, currently selected set of 10, where the median age of females greater than the median age of males. All right, so it's a select by attributes. It's going to be on cities. Again, it's going to be a subset from the current selection where the median age of females is greater than the median age of males. Let's change this to fields. Median age of males. All right. Here's the SQL version, a little simpler to my eye. Hit apply, and it drops to five. So there's only five cities left that meet all three criteria at the same time. Next question. How many cities are in Arizona, New Mexico, or California, or are within 300 US survey miles? And I want you to do this based on geodesic distances. In the next lecture, when we talk about projections and datums, I'll explain what geodesic distances are and why they're the better choice. But they really are a good choice. So we want all the cities that are in these three states or within 300 miles of those three states. That is a select. Now let, let's, let's clear it out. Okay, first step we have to select Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado. Or is it Colorado? Yeah, Arizona, New Mexico, and California. Now you have seen, and I, I, I hope that you are comfortable now with the select by attributes uh, way to do that. It would be a new selection on the states where the state name is equal to Arizona values. Here we go. Arizona add a clause or state name equal to New Mexico or oh, this should be an or here as well. State name equal to California. All right. So this is the way we do it in select by attributes. Here's what it looks like in SQL. If you are comfortable with this, then I'm going to show you another way. If you're not comfortable with this, then keep it up, because this is the more important way to learn. I, I really want you to understand this. But I'm going to close this for now. I'm just going to step back over to my map. I'm going to changing it to this drawing system, so I'm going to turn off these two. Now, I know the three states. I know where they are. Arizona, New Mexico, and California. This is Arizona. This is New Mexico. This is California. I'm trying to select them. I could do that with the complicated select by attributes like we just saw, or I could just use my select on the screen function, just draw a little line through them, and select them that way. So I want you to learn both methods. All right, so let's back to our question now. Um, how many cities are either in those three states or within 300 survey miles? Let's turn on cities. Let's just switch this back over to the selection counts. It's a select by location operation because this is a spatial query. We're going to select the cities. Good. Not going to do intersect this time. We're going to do within geodesic distance of the states. This, uh, we have three states selected, this is telling us, and that's good. Search distance is going to be 300 survey miles. Here they are. And it'll be a new selection on the cities. Okay, and just to be clear, that this, this kind of sounds like it's asking for two criteria, right? They are, are either in these three states or within 300 miles of them, but 
anything that's within 300 miles of them is also going to be in them, right? So if it's in it, then it is less than 300 miles from it. So this single query, finding the cities within 300 survey miles, will answer both parts of that question. So I hit OK. I'm watching and it looks, I see the cities become selected and they all look like they're within a pretty 300-ish you know, miles. So visually the map looks good to me. Always be watching the map. If, it, if something looks off to you, it might, it, you might have made a mistake. But this one worked, and so we know now that there's 742 cities that are within 300 miles of those states. Sure enough. Next question, 15. How many cities are within 300 miles of those states, but they're not actually inside those states? So in this case, we're taking our set of 300 this 300 mile buffer, and we want to take the cities that are actually inside the states and unselect them. So we'll only be left with those outside the states. That will give us the cities within 300 miles, but not actually inside the states. So select by location. We're gonna be selecting our cities. Within, uh, actually, in this case, we're just gonna take the cities that intersect these three states. So we're gonna change that to intersect the three states, remove this search distance, and the selection type now is going to be remove from the selection. That'll take those currently selected cities within these states and just unselect them, which answers our question. Hit apply, and we see that there are, and visually, visually, we look visually, the state, the cities within these states became unselected. This is good. And we're left with 230 cities that meet this criteria right here. Question 16. How many cities meet all criteria at the same time? They have to be within 300 uh, survey miles of these states. They're not actually inside the states. We're actually, we've got that part done so far, so we can just build off what we're sitting on right now. But there's another criteria. Let's go to the next page. The median age has to be less than 25. So we want to take these currently selected cities in this 300 mile buffer and from them just select that subset that has a median age less than 25. So that is a select by attributes. Okay, a select by attributes on the cities. We are selecting a subset from this current set here where the median age is less than values less than 25. So, all right, hit apply. And sure enough, it dropped to 14, just like we thought. There's actually not a lot of cities that have such a young median age. Next question, number 17. How many census counties polygons have one or more cities point features inside of them? This is a really simple select by location function. We're basically just selecting the counties that intersect all the cities. So let's clear our current selection. selection. Let's turn on counties. I'm going to turn off states for a second. Come back to sort by selection. So it's pretty simple. Uh, if a county contains a city or a county intersects a city, then we want to know it. And so we want to know how many counties are like that. Select by location. We are selecting counties that intersect cities. And it is a brand new selection on the counties. We don't want any search distance, so we leave this value blank. Just hit apply. And we have all these counties become selected. These are all the counties that have a city within them. There's 1154 of them. Okay. Now, next question, just the opposite. How many counties do not have a city inside them? Well, there's a few ways we could approach this. We could invert our spatial relationship um, with this option and run it again. But this is a good opportunity to see the switch selection. And, you know, this, if we had a 1154 that had a city, then this is basically all the rest of them, right? So if we could just take this selection and flip it, then that would answer our question. So we can right click on it, 
go to selection and go to switch selection. It'll take every county that's currently selected and unselected and vice versa. Leaves us with 1987 counties that don't have a city in them. Okay, next up, question 19. How many census counties are within Arizona, New Mexico, or California? Let's clear out our current business. This is a question that's based on counties and states. So the first step is that we need to select Arizona, New Mexico, and California. Now I've already shown you that you can do this on the screen, so I'm going to just select them this way. Now let's select all the counties that are within those states. So select by location. We are selecting counties that are within the states. And we have three states selected. All right, it's a new selection on counties. Hit apply. It looks good in the map. Let's change this here. And we see there's 106 counties that are like that. Now, one reason I ask you this particular question is because I want you to see some differences in spatial relationships. Many people who answer this question initially don't use the spatial relationship within. They try intersect. And it's not an unreasonable choice. Uh, how many counties intersect these three states? You'd think that that might be the right answer. But if you hit apply on this case, you'll see that this intersect actually gets all the counties that or in the neighboring states that touch the edge of one of our selected states. So it actually gets us a lot more than, than we're trying to find out here. So intersect means that it doesn't have to be inside it, but it can just touch it on the edge. So that's why that's the wrong answer here. Some people also try the, the spatial relationship completely within, and this is also interesting. If we try that, you will see in this case, completely within means the, the county has to be inside the state, but it can't touch the edge. So you get too few of them this time. So the correct spatial relationship here is within, and we see that it is 106 counties. Next question, how many states polygons contain a city's point that has a median age greater than 55. So a two-step process here. We have to first select the cities that have this median age. And that'll give us a distribution across the country. I'm going to change my map scale. I'm going to go back to a, a bookmark here. Let's clear out our current selection. Now we're dealing with cities and states. Okay. So first step, select the cities with a median age greater than 55. Select by attributes. Selecting cities, a new selection on the cities, where the median age is greater than 55. Alright, so we've got 26 cities that meet that criteria. Uh, not many not many cities have that have a median age so so old and you know, kind of not surprising. I guess they a lot of them moved to Florida or Southern Arizona or Southern California once they reach that age, don't they? Anyway, we've got the cities so far, but we want to know how many states contain those cities. So that is a select by location on the states. On states, spatial relationship here would be contains, intersects would also work in this case, contains a city, and it has to be one of these 26 cities. No search distance, a new selection on the states. So we hit apply, and there are five states that contain cities like this. All right. Next question, 21. How many census counties polygons contain the following? They have to have a city's point that has a median age. So we've, this is kind of building off question 20. We've already got the cities selected, right? Well, there's 26 cities in question. But instead of states, we want to know how many counties contain these cities. So again, it's a select by location. This time it is the counties that contain a city. 
All of this is the same. Hit apply. There are 16 counties that contain these types of cities. Okay, let's start making it a little more complicated. How many census counties meet a bunch of criteria? First off, they had to be within 200 survey miles of a city. But that city has to meet these criteria. We're looking for cities with a median age greater than 40, and they're within Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado. So first thing is to select Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado. Then we'll do a select by location to get the cities that are in these three states. Jump over here. Just going to select by on the screen. This one is Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado. Let's come back to here. So we have three states selected. We need to know the cities that have a median age greater than 40 and are within those. Let's let's start. Well, let's start with the median age. Select by attributes on cities. New selection on cities and I just prefer SQL so median age is greater than 40. Hit apply. Okay, 480 cities across the country have a median age greater than 40. We want just that subset in these three states. So we're going to do a select by location on cities that intersect those three states. Good no search distance and in this case we're selecting a subset because we we just want to have these left hit apply watching the map sure enough the ones that were selected inside those states are still selected everything else became unselected that's what we we're hoping for all right so so far we have identified the cities that meet these two criteria there are 25 of them we want to know how many counties are within 200 miles of these 25 cities. So that's a select by location on counties. So on counties. Uh, geodesic distance from cities, and there's 25 cities it's going to be looking at. Uh, we want 200 survey miles and it'll be a brand new selection on the counties. Apply. We have 177 counties that meet that criteria. Okay, next up, uh, how many census counties polygons meet all these criteria? They have to contain a city that has these two criteria. So it's pretty close to what we had here. This time the cities have to be outside of these three states, not inside. So a little bit different approach. So let's start by selecting all the cities that have uh, the, the, their median age greater than 40. Okay, select by attributes on the cities. Be a new selection on the cities where Let's go to SQL. Median age is greater than 40. Okay, we're back to our 480 cities. Now we want the only those cities that are outside the states of Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado. Now you might remember that we have the three states of Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado still selected from the last one. So we're going to apply a select by location on our cities. We have 480 cities selected, but and we want to unselect the ones that are in these three states. So that would be an intersect relationship on states, and the tool recognizes there are three states selected. Search distance is zero. We are going to remove from the current selection. Hit apply. Okay, we have dropped to 455 cities so far. So 455 cities have a median age and are outside those three states. We want to know how many polygons contain those cities. So that's a select by location on the counties 
in those counties that intersect the cities. So a zero search distance because they only care about intersect. And in this case, it's going to be a brand new selection on the counties. Now, right now, there's 177 counties selected from our last query. But if we do a new selection here, it's going to wipe that slate clean and, and we'll get a brand new selection on the counties. Okay, hit apply. And there are 190 counties that contain cities that look like this. So 190. Okay, next up. Now we get into some more simple attribute type queries. Let's clear our current selection set from everything. How many cities have GLAD, G-L-A-D, somewhere in the name? And uh, these queries are case sensitive, so GLAD has to be capitalized. This is a select by attributes. I'll show you both the SQL version and the clause version. So we collect, select cities, a new selection on cities, where the name contains contains the text G-L-A-D. In SQL, remember this is what we call a like query. We're not using equals or not equals or greater than. Uh, when you're searching for text within other text, it's a like query. And it uses these wildcard characters. So a percent sign stands for any number of characters. So this query is saying glad there's GLAD somewhere in the word in the name, and it can have any number of characters in front and any number behind it. All right, hit OK, hit a, apply. We see that there are five cities that have GLAD in the name. If you're curious, and and that's that's correct, right? Um, but if you're curious what they are, let's open up the attribute table, and we can click this little button. It'll only show us the selected records. These are the five cities that have GLAD in the name somewhere. All right. How many census counties polygons are named Liberty? Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Let's turn on counties. Select by attributes. Census counties. It's a new selection on the counties. Uh, where the county name is equal to Liberty. Hit apply. I mean, it's a real simple one there. Let's jump back over here. Four counties are like that. Four Liberty counties. Next up, how many census counties are, are named Liberty and San Juan? So we can start from here, just add the clause and name equal to San Juan. All right. This is what it looks like in SQL name equals Liberty and name equals San Juan. Hit apply and zero. So why is that? I'm hoping that, that that's what you're expecting. Remember that when you use the and operator here, it's ask it's going through all the records and trying to find every county where that county is named Liberty and the name is also San Juan. And no county can have more than one name. So this question, this query is, it, it's legal in that it meets all the rules for SQL queries, but it can't ever return anything but zero. So there's no county that can have more than one name. Now, usually if we're looking for Liberty and San Juan counties, well, the proper way to structure it is to use or instead of and. So we'll just change the and here to or. Okay, now we run it. And there are eight counties that are named San Juan or Liberty. Okay, and that's it. Thanks so much.